Food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? <laughs> I'm not sure where we left off guys, but let's just start over again. There's a high request of Haitians food or Hades food. Either or, Hades, Haitians, this one's for you. All right, I'm gonna say this again, guys. Um, this might not be traditional, but it's gonna be my little twist and tweak to this. If there's any suggestion or any tips that you can give me, please put it down below there because I'm just here to learn. All right, guys. <laughs> We're gonna start off with this. Haitians rice, or is it Hades rice or Haitians rice? Either or, Haitians rice. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the seasoning. So I got one small onion. I'm gonna do one teaspoon of dry thyme, quarter teaspoon of crushed cloves. I'm not sure if it's tradition, but I just love coconut milk in my Haitian's rice. Once I got that all blended, I wanna cook this down a bit. We got chicken bouillon here, so I'm just gonna throw in one. I know Haitian rice use brown basmati, but I'm just gonna twist it up a bit and use long grain rice. I'm gonna throw in one can of kidney beans, a pinch of salt, and just a pinch of sugar just to balance it out. To this, guys, I do not have the right exact measurement of water, so I'm gonna do this trick here, the finger trick. Take this tip, guys, Put it on top of the surface of your rice and the water has to come up to this line right here. So it's pretty much perfect right there. Wait for this to catch a boil. This catches a boil. Turn down the heat to low. Take your lid, throw it on, leave it on for 20 to 25 minutes, guys. Do not lift the lid. I repeat, do not lift the lid. Haitian chicken stew. So I got eight pieces of chicken pieces here with all the beautiful kidney and the ass in there. I'm gonna drop one chicken bouillon, four teaspoon of salt and pepper, dry thyme. Tomato paste, two tablespoons of olive oil. I got one small onion here. Throw it into a blender. One scotch bonnet or a habanero pepper. Two garlic cloves. Nothing to it now. I'm gonna take half of this mixture. The next half of this portion, I'm gonna use this to marinate my fried fish in. Nothing to it now, guys. Get your hands and just get into this. Make sure to get into every crack of it. Make sure, guys. <laughs> one thing I forgot, guys. Whole cloves. You can use ground cloves, but only have whole cloves. Three hours up, chicken in the oven at 375. I got leftover basa here that I found in the freezer. I'm gonna take that mixture, put that in there. Salt, pepper, and I'll just let that sit. These veggies here, so I got red pepper, are for the chicken stew that I'm about to make here. I'm gonna do another approach on Haitian chicken stew. So I'm gonna just bake it. I'm gonna just saute these vegetables. The reason why I'm gonna bake it is because I want a nice crust on the chicken skin there. Just gonna roughly chop these just because these will caramelize when sauteed. All right, veggies in. Got that cooked and caramelized down. I'm gonna do two cups of chicken stock. Chicken's ready, guys. Only had this in for 15 minutes on a broiler. I'm gonna take all that juice and all that goodness and throw everybody back in this pool here. What a beautiful pool party, guys. Everybody's in the pool. Such a beautiful thing. <laughs> I need your guys' help on this plantain here. Is this the perfect color you buy when you buy plantain? And they had like a very, very green one, which was rock hard. <laughs> this actually just smells very sweet right now. I probably can just eat this like a banana. Everybody in the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in the pool. So after two minutes, I'm just gonna take them out. Take my plantain crusher, only made for plantain crushing. <laughs> two plates, guys. And I'm just gonna squish it down. Just like that. Everybody back in. So we're just gonna fry this up for another three minutes. My take on pickly. So I got one bag of shredded cabbage, so pretty much the coleslaw mix. Pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, pinch of thyme, half a cup of white vinegar, half of a lime, red onions, pinch of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna let this soak for the time being. We're gonna do our fish, guys. So our bassa, our leftover bassa. It's gonna coat this in a light coat of flour. Take this fish, let this fish bite on the oil, after it bites on the oil, you let it swim, you're free. <laughs> just had this in for about three minutes guys, it does not take too long. I'm gonna strain this onto your plate. Got some leftover fries, don't be like, oh man, Haitian food does not have 
any fries in their menu. Let me tell you, I ate at a Haitian restaurant before and they serve side of fries. I know, I know. It is a weird thing, but Asian people do it too. Why? I'm not even sure. Everybody in pool. Let's set this one. So we got our rice. Got our chicken. Onions and peppers in the back. Plantain. I'm not too happy on how this came out, but I know it'll still be tasty. French fries. Gonna take our fish, throw it to the side. Take a handful of pickles. I'll just throw it right here. There it is, guys. Your Haitian feast. Complete. Come on over, guys. Alright, it's finally time, guys. I'm starving. <laughs> I just finished washing the dishes just because I don't want dishes. I don't want to do dishes with a full stomach. Not about that life. I need some food in me ASAP. So we got the rice, we got the plantain, we got one chicken leg for now, pickles. I'm just gonna do, ow, a little lime on this chicken there. All right, let's get into this. Shout out to Hades, Haitian stewed chicken. Take the first bite of this, let's go ahead. Nice. Mmm. Leave that in your mouth. The rice? Quick time, guys. Nice. <laughs> I'm so happy that I put the coconut milk in there. The pickles? Quick time. Let's go ahead. Nice. Mmm. Fried plantain. I know it's a little dark, but I know it's still all good. It's good. Yes. Mmm. I think just because it's a little ripe, that's why it browned faster because of the sugar. But like I said, everything works out so well. Mmm. So bombs. Mm -hmm. Pickles is like Korean kimchi or a Haitian coleslaw. That's all it is. Mmm. French fries. French fries are pretty much in every restaurant. I went to a Haitian restaurant. They had a side order of fries, which was crazy to me, but I'm thinking about it. A lot of Asian restaurants has that too. Don't believe me? Next time you order Chinese food from a Chinese family restaurant, look under their pop selection. There's fries for a side selection. Hmm. I'm looking at this right now. I made fish and fries. Haitian style. With the pickles, the marinated basa here. I know Haitians don't eat basa. I believe you guys prefer red snapper over basa, but I just had this leftover. Take a bite of this, guys. It's got it. Nice. Mm -hmm. That marinade was perfect. A little spicy because of the habanero. The nice balance of garlic and onions. Wow. Hmm. 
<laughs> Tell me guys, what color plantain do you guys buy? Is it green, slightly green, or is it yellow? I got mine brown or black. Mmm. Still very delicious. Let's get into this dye here. I believe there's a built-in chicken ass in here, so I'm pretty pumped. I can feel it right now because it's right here, guys. If you guys see, that's the tail. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to not disturb the ass too much. <laughs> I'll leave that to the end there. Guys, here it is. Another bite of that dark meat there. Yes, got it. Nice. Mm. Mm. Also, pickle juice. Mmm. Fried plantain. Mmm. It's all about building flavors in your mouth. Mmm. I say this in Haitian food. I believe you get a lot of bold and rustic flavors to it. Like, if you guys know what I mean. I think just because of the cloves and thyme, that makes it so bold. And the tomato paste. The tomato paste doesn't really come out a lot. But, it gives it that nice zang or zip in the background. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's been a while guys. Take a bite off of this. Side chicken ass. Yes, got it. Nice. Wait, I'm gonna just peel that skin off and show you that it is the ass that's the oyster that's the tail it's been a while mm. <laughs> this tail It's been too long, guys. <laughs> it's been way too long. Since I had chicken ass. I'm gonna put that dark meat on the side there. I got no time for that dark meat. I want the other side of the ass. Mmm. <laughs> Be careful guys, whole clothes, take them out. I forgot to take them out. Mm. Wow. Been too long. Wow! To drink, guys, good old Canadian water. Take the first sip of this. Yes, got it. Nice.
Wow. <laughs> All right. I want some more of this fish here. Mmm. Mmm. Works so well. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is love. Do you guys want a buffet? This is a buffet right here, guys. <laughs> this is what's up. I'll never buy straight fries anymore. Just curly fries. Game changer. I think just because of these grooves, it gives it that extra crunch to it. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm. Do you guys know what love is? Mm hmm. Someone the other day asked me if I knew what love is. I thought it was the craziest question ever asked. <laughs> mm. Mm. Everybody out there, I keep saying this, needs to Get out there and try something new. Mm. Take trips with me, guys. I'm always there. Like, people ask what I do. Or where am I about? Or where am I? Or where I usually go? I'm usually at Flavor Time, guys. I'm just hanging there. I'm just hanging out there. Meet me there, guys. <laughs> we got this brat hanging down here. Where are you gonna go with that now? Don't hide it under my pillow, kitty. Hey, hey, kitty. Don't hide that under my pillow, okay? I found it last time when you did it. <laughs> Food and life is such a beautiful thing, guys. Don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Like this. Share this. Say bye, kitty. Come say bye, kitty. You wanna say bye? Yeah! <laughs> you brat. Peace out!